Has anyone else noticed that it seems like Canva is always changing and introducing new features? They are constantly upping their game, which is why I love Canva so much and use it as my primary design platform. Well, Canva recently made a huge announcement regarding their brand new Magic Studio. This is essentially the new hub for all of Canva's AI tools and features. There were already some AI capabilities within Canva, but now we can find them all in one place within Canva, and they've also introduced several new AI tools with this launch. I've talked about some of Canva's AI features before, so in this video I'm sharing my top six picks for my favorite of the new Canva AI tools within the Magic Studio. Let's get into it. So just as a reminder, there are three different Canva plans. We've got Canva Free, Canva Pro, and Canva for Teams. So some of these features may only be available for Pro or Teams users, but whatever is available for you with the plan that you're on should automatically be appearing inside your Canva account. If you see a feature you like but don't have access to if you're on the free plan, I do have have a Canva Pro 30 day free trial linked in the description box below if you'd like to try out Pro and try out some of these features that are on the Pro plan for 30 days and see if you like it, then you can click that link and get signed up for free to try that out. All right, so if we come to our Canva homepage and go to the left side menu, we'll now see where it says Magic Studio. So we can click on that and this is the hub for all of the AI tools. So if you scroll down here, you can see all of the different AI tools within Canva that all start with the word magic and you see something that starts with magic inside of Canva, this is your clue that that is something to do with artificial intelligence. So we've got the three different magic design capabilities. We've seen magic design itself before, but now we've got magic design for presentations, magic design for video. We've got magic write, which we've seen before, but there's a few new ones that they just introduced, which would be these three, magic switch, magic animate, and magic morph. Also magic media, which we've seen the text to image tool before, but now it's called magic media because it also has a text to video capability. A couple of other new AI tools are magic grab, magic expand, and we've got several new AI apps as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my first of my top six picks for these new tools, and that is Magic Grab. So let's say we're here inside of Canva, we've got our blank canvas, and we want to select a photo that we wanna use. So let's select this photo of the coffee cup. And what we can do with Magic Grab is while we have this photo selected, we can come up here to Edit Photo. And when we click on Edit Photo in the top left here, we see our photo editor menu with lots of different options pop up. So this is where we're gonna find Magic Grab. So then we can select select magic grab and it automatically selects the subject of the photo, which we can then just grab and drag around as we please. So we can either take this off the photo and just use the background of the photo and put something else layered on top, or we could delete that background and just use the subject of the photo however we'd like. So this is a really amazing feature because before we would have had to use the background remover and actually go through the process of removing that background with the background remover and then we would have this, but now we can just easily grab and pull this around where we'd like it to be. We can also use use multiple photos to switch things around. So let's say I have this other photo here of a coffee cup as well, and I've got this one that I just used. I can use my magic grab like I just did for this one. So let's come up to edit photo, magic grab. I can then bring this coffee cup away and delete that. Let's say I like this coffee cup better, but I want it to appear on this background. Then I can come over to this one, also use my magic grab here to grab this coffee cup. I'm gonna drag the coffee cup over here, delete this background, and then I can work with this photo back background and my new coffee cup to arrange it in the picture how I'd like it to be. So this magic grab feature has so many different uses, including creating really fun and interesting social media post images and even creating digital products to sell. Now, if you're interested in creating digital products to sell online on a place like Etsy or Creative Market, I have a full length comprehensive course called Digital Products with Canva, where I use Canva to walk you through step-by-step -step how to start and grow a profitable online digital products business. If you're wanting to make some extra money, then sell Selling digital products online is an amazing way to add on a passive income stream and make some extra money without having to do a lot of extra work. A lot of people like this idea, but get pretty intimidated when it comes to the tech side of creating digital products, which is why I created Digital Products with Canva. So if you're interested in getting some extra training to start your own digital products business, then definitely check the link below and watch my free masterclass, Digital Product Powerhouse. This is a 45 minute crash course into my proven four step system for starting a digital products business. And I also taught talk about my full length course inside of that masterclass. So after you get done watching this video, definitely hop over, watch that free masterclass and see if digital products with Canva might be a value to you. All right, moving on to AI tool number two, which is Magic Morph. We can find the Magic Morph tool by coming over to our left hand menu here and clicking on apps. 
Right now, it's showing up right here because it's one of the featured apps, but you can always search in the Canva apps as well for Magic Morph if you don't see it here. But we'll click to open Magic Morph. So the process here is if we have a design already created here, we can select an element or a piece of text in our design to use and morph it into something else. But for this demo, we're just going to try a test element here. So let's add a star. And while that is selected, I'm gonna to come to step number two, which is describe the look. So here I'm going to input a prompt that I want it to morph my star into. So I want my star to be filled with bright rays of sunshine. So I'm gonna put that, and then I'm gonna click Magic Morph. And then here on the left-hand side, we can see the four different images that it's given me. So it's taken my star shape and actually used AI to put some bright rays of sunshine in. So let's say I like this one, I can add it to my design and use it however I like inside my design. This also works for text as well. So let's add some text here. We've got an example. We can make this say whatever we like. Let's say happy birthday. And then again, we're gonna come to step number two and describe what look we want it to have. So let's try inflatable rose gold party balloon and see what it generates for us. And here we've got our four different options. If we click to add one to the canvas here, we can see if we scale this up a little bit, how this actually does look like an inflatable balloon in our rose gold color. Each of these different options is slightly different. So you can click to add and see which one you like the best and go with that. Now let's say maybe we want our happy birthday to be in an ocean wave design. I could put blue ocean waves. And let's see what it comes up with for this style. And here we've got four different options for an ocean wave style. So if we click on it, let's check out the details here. So we can see it's in ocean wave colors and we can even see some little intricate details on the ends of the letters that look like little swirls or wave designs. So Magic Morph is just so fun to play around with and try out different styles for text or for elements in shapes. Okay, moving on to tool number three, which is called Magic Expand. So we can use Magic Expand with a photo. So let's add again this coffee cup image. And before, if I was working with, let's say, an Instagram story size canvas, but I had a horizontal photo like this, it would be really frustrating because I can't just click to expand the photo without it being cropped off to fit the canvas size. So if I'm wanting this photo to take up the whole canvas size, I'm going to have to be okay with a lot of it being cropped out. But with Magic Expand, I can come again with my photo selected up to the top left where it says Edit Photo, and then I can come over to where it says Crop. And now I've got an expand feature here. So I switch over to expand and then I can select the size I want this photo to expand to. So I can select freeform, I can select it to expand to the whole page, or I can select a specific size here. So let's just try to expand this to the whole page and see what happens. And we can see how now Canva has used AI to expand and add parts to the photo on the top and the bottom. And we've got four different options here. So these are all slightly different. We can look for the one that looks the most natural and that fits what look we're going for. So I I think this actually looks pretty good. One thing to remember is that AI tools are constantly being developed and made better. So some areas of the photo may look a little bit interesting, but it should be getting better and better over time. And I think this is a really cool tool to be able to use for the purpose of expanding and taking up a whole different size canvas. If we don't like the results that it gave us, we can always click to generate new results again until we're happy with one of the options that it generates. The next tool is really useful. This is called Magic Switch. So we can find Magic Switch up here in the top left corner. And if you're familiar with Canva at all, this is actually where the magic resize button used to be, but now it's renamed to magic switch. So if we click on this, we can still see all of the magic resize options that we would have had before. So maybe you've used this before where you could resize whatever you're working on into a totally different size. So let's say you wanted to change your slide presentation into some social media graphics. You could have easily done that with magic resize. So we still have all of the resize features here, but also under the new magic switch, we've got the ability to translate our design into another language. So that's just an easy one-click translation for the entire design. So here I have pulled up a slide presentation that I've created. I could easily go to translate, select the language that I'd like it to translate to, and then apply to page. I can apply it to one page in my design or all pages, and then I can click translate and the entire thing will be translated instantly. I can also go to transform into a doc. So if I want to take, let's say, something like this slide presentation, and I want to use the information that I've created inside the slide presentation to transform it into a document, I would come to this option, transform into doc, and then I can select the text format. So I can choose summary, blog post, poem, all text, email, or song lyrics. So let's say I want to make this into a blog post. I can select that, click transform into doc. 
And then once it's ready, I'll click open doc. And here I can see the document that has all the information that was pulled from my slides. So instead of having to go and manually create a document out of this information, Canva's magic switch tool gives it to me in one click, which saves so much time. All right, moving on to our next AI tool, which is called Magic Media. So when we're in Canva, if we come to apps, again, we can search for Magic Media by typing that in, click on Magic Media, and this will bring up the AI prompt to image or prompt to videos tool. It used to be called text to image, but now it's called Magic Media, and we have the capability to create an image or a video within this one app. So the images area looks like what we were already familiar with, but now we have the option for video. So we can click over to videos and create a video completely with AI. So all we have to do here is put in our prompt to describe what we want the video to be. So I might say something like red and white race car in the desert. Then I can click generate video. And here it's generated a video with our prompt. So I can click to add this to my canvas that I'm working on and click to play. And there it is. So as I said before, it may look a little wonky because sometimes AI tools take a little while to develop, but I think for this tool still being in beta at the time of this filming and just giving it a few words of a prompt, this video is actually pretty interesting. If I'm not happy with it and I wanna try something else, I can always come back here and try a different prompt. So let's say flower growing in garden. So here we've got our video of the flower. And we can either use this or continue generating until we've gotten a video that we're happy with. I already loved the fact that we could do this with the text to image. And now I think it's really neat that they have the video capability and I'm sure it'll only get better as it continues to improve. Okay, our next tool is Magic Design for Presentations. We've seen Magic Design before, but this is specifically for presentations. So let's say I start a presentation on Canva. And just for this example, let's imagine I'm someone who wants to make a presentation on how to start your own hair salon. But maybe I don't really know exactly where to start with creating this presentation. So I can start my project as a presentation in Canva and then come over to design on the left-hand menu. Then I can describe what I'm looking for in the search bar. So I might say how to start your own hair salon. Now under the results that pop up, I can see the magic design category. So if I click on one of the suggested magic designs and click apply all seven pages, then it instantly gives me the presentation that it created for me based on the prompt that I typed in. So we can see here our title slides, starting your own hair salon, a step-by-step -step guide. We can go through and see the introduction, talking about market research, identifying your target audience, developing a business plan, how to create a business plan. And we've even got photos that match the topic that I typed in, funding, choosing a location, creating an inventory list, and even an end slide thanking the audience member for considering starting their own hair salon. So here we can see how the use of AI can drastically cut down on hours of work as opposed to starting a presentation like this and creating it from scratch on your own. Now, of course, you would probably want to take this and make your own changes to put in the right colors, add your branding and maybe even switching out some of the wording or photos and adding specific slides that you might want in there. But this is an amazing starting place that gives you something to build off of. So as you can see, there are so many different new fun tools in Canva. I definitely recommend you get on there and play around with it. And don't forget to click the link below if you want to try out Canva Pro free for 30 days and try out some of these amazing features. Also, don't forget about my free 45 minute masterclass digital product powerhouse that's linked below. You can click through and watch that on demand to get my proven four-step system for starting your own digital products business online. It's what I've used to bring my business to multiple six figures and what many of my students have used and found success with as well. And if you're interested in my full-length comprehensive course, Digital Products with Canva, you'll learn about it in that free masterclass as well. And there may even be a major discount available for those who watch through the class and then decide to enroll in the course. So check the link below for that and happy selling. Hey.